Hey folks, welcome to our next exit. You can take my word on this. This is one of the funnest videos that Pearl and I have ever made. Riding this e-track around the neighborhood has been a total blast. We've, uh, Pearl's taken it up to the store a couple of times. We've ridden it out in the desert and we found our beautiful bike pass uh, up in Yuma. Just gorgeous. This has been so much fun and we're doing it together and we're doing it at the same pace. It's so different compared to walking or jogging or whatever, riding these electric bikes. Let me tell you how this all started just a couple of weeks ago. We, uh, as a lot of you may know, we, went, we retired back in uh, 2015 and we went full-time in our RV in 2017, living full-time in our RV. We sold our house, we set our car up to tow behind the motorhome, and we bought a couple of Walmart bicycles, stuck them on the back of the car. We planned on riding them bicycles all over the country, on trails and uh, riding them to town, all kind of stuff. But the fact is, we were in our mid to late 60s and riding bicycles just didn't fit into our lifestyle. Riding bicycles in our retirement was not nothing like we remembered riding bicycles back in the late 50s when we were kids or early 60s. We could ride all over town and never get tired. I, I never really dreamed of getting tired or more out of it. It just seemed like a nice, easy way to spend an afternoon in retirement. Well, it didn't work out that way. We hauled those bikes around for two years. I don't know how many times we rode them, but not a whole lot. And we just looked for excuses not to ride them. Pearl's had back surgery. And so I don't blame her. It would, she'd ride, you know, we'd ride 30 minutes. I don't know if we rode an hour or not, but 30 minutes or so, and her back would get sore. And neither one of us were in shape like we kind of thought we were. Riding bikes took it out of us, even with all the little gears and stuff. So it just didn't pan out. We finally got rid of the bikes. A lot of our friends had got e-bikes and every year we noticed more and more of these e-bikes. That seemed like a good idea. But in talking to folks and I experimented riding them a little bit and they're pretty powerful, pretty uh, quick. And I could just see us as we got older, getting our confidence up and riding them maybe where we shouldn't and letting it get away from us and one of us getting hurt, breaking a bone or something. So we just decided it, it wasn't worth, worth it getting an e-bike, a regular bike. If we wanted to go somewhere, we'd walk or take the car. And that's pretty much it. But a couple of weeks ago, a month ago maybe, a company called Ad Motors wrote us an email and said, hey, we've been watching your next exit videos and we've got a new e-trike. We're thinking about marketing to retired folks or people that have uh, health issues or balance issues that maybe can't ride a bike or for whatever reason would just like something a little more stable, a little more safe and it just rang some bells. That's exactly what we were looking for. So after we did a little research, we talked about it and we wrote them back and said, yeah, we'd love to, uh, if you'd send us your e-trike, we'll try it out and uh, we'll make you a video. We'll tell you and the audience here what we think about it. I ended up ordering the e-bike so that Pearl and I could still ride together. We're thinking that when we take off this spring, this is going to be quite a bit of fun. Add a whole new dimension to our RV travels. So come on with us. We'll show you what we thought about them. We'll show you how it, well it works, where you can ride them, where you can't ride them. And uh, you might decide you want one too. Oh, and a quick side note. We got the e-track delivered around just before five o'clock and it was just a few minutes after six when we raised the garage door back up. So it took right at an hour to put it together and they sent the tools. Everything was there. The book is pretty simple. The whole thing is pretty simple. Easy peasy. And by 6.15 or so, I was out riding it on the street. Yeah, I got a red dot. I'm going out to the street, probably going left. Okay. It's cold out there. Yes, it feels like it. Okay, Bob's taking my trike for its very first ride. And of course he has to do it in the dark where I can't hardly see what's going on. <laughs> I think that man's having fun.
pretty dang zippy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Hang on. I got a red light. See the blinker? Oh, yeah, barely. Don't you hit my car. It has a lot of power, baby. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the other blinker? Okay. Yeah. Oh. It's not a bike, it's a trike. What? <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> you gonna shut everything off, my dear? I gotta admit, Pearl was very nervous about getting an e-bike or an e-trike or anything that has so much power. And this e-trike has a ton of power, two or three times more than I thought it would have. So Pearl rode it on the sidewalk in the backyard, rode it in the driveway the first day, and she really liked it. We didn't. We don't have any helmets. The trike didn't come with mirrors, and there was old lock. We didn't have a lock, so we decided to park it until we uh, got our helmets and our mirrors and stuff. But we couldn't stand it. <laughs> the, the next day, we got out and took a little ride uh, just to make sure we liked it before we ordered all this stuff, and we love it. It was so much fun. Even Tinker loved it. So we're gonna park it till we get our helmets and our mirrors and our bike lock. Oh, and all that kind of stuff. Said so you want to go to the desert. Desert? Yeah. Okay. You ready? Yeah. You're gonna close the garage. All right. Here we go. This is a special day. Like we've got our hammocks. We've got our mirrors. Well, I've been riding the e-trike for two or three days. I'm getting fairly comfortable. Finally, my first day or so was a little daunting. You would all of a sudden I'd do something and it would take off. And I wasn't exactly sure why it took off, and I wasn't exactly sure how I was going to stop it before I crashed into something. I had several pretty uh, hair-raising experiences the first day or two. You need to practice a little bit because it's got a lot of power and it can take off pretty quick. But it doesn't take long to get it figured out. I didn't turn the battery on. Do you even think you'll need it? Well, yeah, I will. And then you love all that power and it all makes sense and you know exactly how to slow down and speed up and it That's just falls into place. But that first day or first few miles, it can be a little daunting. Well, this is Pearl's. What? I have a problem. What? It's not letting me do any throttle. Okay, you have a button here that's off and on button for the throttle. This? Yeah. Oh. Huh? That certainly ain't the easiest thing to well, do. You gotta get used to it, buddy. Folks, I'm here to tell you, we both learned a lesson on that rocky desert trail that we went on. Uh, this e-track's not made for that. It just wasn't, that wasn't a fun ride. It was bouncy. Yeah, it was Even though it's got the big four here. inch fat tires and it's got a little shock absorber on the front fork. It's got 80 millimeters of travel. It's a oil spring deal. And that cushions it quite a bit, but it doesn't do anything for this uh, going side to side and that ravine pearl got hung up in that wasn't fun at all she got out of it but we probably won't go back into a place like that again except going in and out of some campgrounds that we camp in they're a little bit rough and we may have to go through it but here like this this is the kind of off-road trails that we'll be riding on this is fun this is nice so if you're like pearl and i you're wondering just where can we ride these electric bikes and electric trikes uh, are there rules and regulations specific to them? Well, we did a little research and the U.S. government has said uh, under federal law, electric bicycle is referred to as a low speed electric bicycle. 
In the day, electric bicycles are explicitly not motor vehicles. And this uh, electric bicycle is defined as a two or three wheel vehicle with fully operational pedals and an electric motor of less than 750 watts, which is one horsepower. And the maximum speed is 20 miles an hour or less. Good morning. Good morning. I like that three wheeler. Yeah. <laughs> But we're in Arizona right now. Each state has a few specific rules. It says by Arizona state law, electric bikes are authorized to ride in any bike lane or on any bike path. State that's owned by the state. So it's definitely getting more and more acceptable for electric bikes to uh, be out there and sharing the road with the bike lanes, with the bike paths and with electric bicycles and people walking and jogging and we just all got to kind of get along together and follow the rules and have some common courtesy for each other. This is really pretty, huh? Yeah, the ducks are liking it. You see the ducks over here? Yeah. They're accustomed to people. Hi guys. Aren't you supposed to be on the right-hand side, too? I'm filming, baby. Oh, I'm sorry. Nice pond. Stop when you get a chance. Folks, I'd like to introduce you to the Grand Pan M340 by AdMotor e-trike. 2023. And it's the step through model, obviously. And you like that, huh? I you like got on there that. nice and easy? I got on there. You got used to that foot pedal rest, too, huh? <laughs> yes, I did. <laughs> it works pretty good. <laughs> so, let me tell you some of the features on this uh, M340. So, we had planned on pulling over there at the pond and up on the grass, or it's real pretty. And we wanted to tell you all about the different features of the uh, Ad Motor e track because it's got some, some really neat features. Some of the biggest and best features that come on an e-trike. But we tried it today, and we had people stop him wanting to ask questions. It's just a classy vehicle. People want to ask questions about it. They want to look it over and check it out. So if you buy one of these, you better get used to uh, meeting new people and talking about your e-trike. It is. We like, we haven't had it too long, oh. but we like it's an electric trike. <laughs> is it hard to operate? And no, not it's, it's very easy to operate. Oh, okay. We've had it just about two weeks, oh, so really? fun. getting used to it yeah. is different. Oh, that's but great. it's fun. Have you ever rode an electric bike? No, I haven't. Would you like to? We're doing a YouTube video. No, not right, maybe next time. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, though. That's sweet. You betcha. So we got to back up, get out in the shade, and get oh, ready for I some sunshine. Fun. Okay, so I'm going to be right here. Okay. You ready? What are you in? Okay, perfect. I'm in too. So you go ahead and take off. All right. I'm not coming in until you get in the sun. Okay. <laughs> Hi. Hi, folks. We saw the playground, so we thought we'd play. <laughs> <laughs> Except I'm getting too much exercise, she's just sitting there laughing. <laughs> the wrong end of the stick. Okay, so you only went two gears. We ended up, we'd been riding a lot today, so just we like decided this just wasn't the uh, best time and place to do a segment on all the features. It's just right there on the sidewalk, too many people coming by. So we decided to come back on another day, and we were going to park further in, closer to the pond, where people... Uh, to be honest, couldn't talk to us so easy. We were further away from uh, the path. So we came back a couple of days later and we had people still, even more people, stopping oh, us and asking us about hey, the e-track and is it hard to ride and what do we think about it? Didn't tell yeah. us how pretty it is. How are you doing? Good, how are you doing? Good, how do you like your trike? You care if I film you? 
You care if I film you? So you've had it for years? You've had your trike for years? Years. Mm -hmm. And what do you, where do you normally ride it? You know, um, I live in New Mexico and huh. I don't have really good places, so I come here every winter. Okay. I can ride my bike, it folds in three spots and fits oh, in my car. Cool, nice. cool. Hey folks, just want to tell you a little bit about this Grand Tan M340 e trike. 2023 model, it's brand new. Brand spanking new. And we, we knew nothing about e trikes. Well, this obviously isn't working any better. Uh, what we decided to do is just too much fun meeting all these folks. And uh, so we're going to see if we can talk a couple of them into riding the e trike and get their opinions. And Pearl suggested let's go ahead I'm gonna get off and of go it. home. She wants to ride the e trike to the grocery store. And by yeah. she's got, uh, she's going to cook a T bone steak tonight. She's going to ride to the grocery store and get us a T bone steak, bring it home, cook it up and finish off a nice day and then we'll do the uh go over some of the features at least the main features there at the house we'll put it out on the back patio or somewhere we'll go over the hub motor and the battery some of the rules and laws about riding e-bikes that's really important and so uh we'll wrap it up at the house it's been a really fun day today So what do you think? It's your trike. Are you, after riding it a couple of weeks, we've had it about, how long? Two, two and a half weeks. Two or three weeks, yeah. What's your thoughts? I'm pretty happy with it. What do you like most about it? Where do you like riding it? I like riding it on the regular roads and on bike paths that are more solid, that are not... Uh, that's not, rough and all them big rocks. Not the big rocks and not a bunch of sand to yeah. go through. It's just not a, a mountain bike. No, it's more right. of a level street bike. Ride it on the beach, ride it on the, in your neighborhood out on the street or sidewalk. Super stable like that, except for turns and uh, uneven ground. Yeah, uneven ground is not a comfort zone for me. But elsewise, it's solid and, and level as a rock. It's nice. Yeah. It's very comfortable. It's very easy to drive, very easy to ride. So we're gonna, we bought us a platform so we can haul it with the car. We'll tow the car and then we'll carry this on the platform. Yes. And we got a foldable e-bike that we purchased, the one that I was riding in the video. We purchased that one. This one, Ad Motor gave it to us totally free to uh, do a product review and do this video. And then we'll keep it and 
take it all over the country. And enjoy it. <laughs> and the best thing about it, when we had our bicycles, we just didn't want to go at the same pace or same distance. Right. Or even when we're walking, I usually end up getting ahead of you and you're behind. Yes. The beauty of this, you can go at your pace and I go at my pace. And if your pace is not as fast as mine, you just give it a little throttle. You know where the throttle is now. I know where the throttle is and I can go faster than you, you now. Can, yeah, I can't keep up with you. <laughs> That's true. So it's kind of a long name. Like just in case you're thinking you might want to buy one, this is the Ad Motor M340 E Trike. Grand Tan. Grand Tan. Ad Motor M340 Grand Tan E Trike. E -trike. And it's a class two. It, yes. Basically a class two e bike. And let me re read this again just so I get it right and so you guys get comfortable with it. A class two e bike, which is what this is and what uh, most of them are. And I think it's what you would want. It's definitely what we want. The federal government defines it, says uh, a low speed electric bike goes under 20 miles an hour. In addition, electric bicycles are explicitly not motor vehicles. And to be a class two, it has to have functioning pedals. It has to be limited to 20 miles an hour. And the electric motor has to be 750 watts or less. Or less. And not very many of them have 750 watts. Right. Most of them are around 500. Right. So what we, what we want to do is go over some of the features with you. I want to start with the uh, battery. It's back here. It's a big battery. It's one of the biggest ones that we saw. It's a Samsung and it has a UL listing for safety, which is pretty important. A lithium battery. It has 48 volts with 20 amp hours. Now that's 960 watts and watts is the amount of power that you can get from a battery. 960, that's a bunch. And it has a 25 amp controller down there and that decides how much elect that electricity goes up into the motor. The motor is a buffet. It's a front hub motor. And when you heard me squealing the tires every now and then, that was this thing spinning because it's got like 80 newton meters of torque, which means it can go. You give it that gas and it can go. It's speedy. It's speedy. Uh, so 750 watt motor and 960 watts to push it. Now that's a lot and it's bigger than most of the tracks because this is a bigger, beefier, heavier E track. It can hold, it can carry 350 pounds. Pearl doesn't weigh 350 pounds. Thank you. And you can carry 100 in your caboose. Caboose <laughs> in your uh, basket here in the back. 100 pounds in the basket, 350 here, so 450 total payload. Uh, and this is included in the 100. Okay. Uh, this is a handy little thing, too. Yes, it is. So that's why you need such a big motor and a big battery. So it's not to go fast because it can go 20, but that's probably too, have you, yeah, you've gone 20 because you've outrun me a couple I've times. I've gone 20. <laughs> yeah. It, uh, it's but not, it, go it, ahead. It's not something I would do constantly. Yeah, it's not, unless it's a real smooth road, it's not real comfortable. 10 to 15 miles an hour is a pretty comfortable that, speed. That's a comfortable speed, yes. Yeah. But you want the power in case you're going up, well, one, to carry 450 pounds. <laughs> And if you're going up long grades or going long, far distances, you'll need that extra, you need that extra pedal assist. Yeah, well, the extra battery to go longer and further and then right. up the grades and heavy loads. Right. Not to go faster. No. I'm too old to be going fast on an e trike. So Pearl figured out the throttle on demand once she got it when we was riding out in the desert, she hadn't forgot about it. She, that works pretty good, huh? It works very good. Do you, do you use the pedal assist or the throttle the most? I use both. Both? Both. And you like pedaling along with what you're going I definitely like pedaling. I like the idea of the exercise as well. And it has a seven speed, like a regular bicycle, seven speeds on the uh, uh, Shimano shifter here. And then you got seven gears down on the axle. So you pump your gears up until you get it where you can feel that. And if you want to exercise more, you pump it up to a higher gear and it's more resistance giving you the exercise. But then if you get tired, you just put your feet on that footrest. You like that footrest? I it like the footrest. It's kind of comfy. Good. <laughs> so the 
The pedal assist has got seven levels. Uh, it's got zero, which turns it off, so then you can just pedal without getting any battery. But it's a pretty heavy bike. It's pretty solid, causing it to, to be fairly heavy. On smooth ground, you can pedal it okay, but and going uphill no or rough ground, right. it doesn't. Uh, you want a little pedal assist. And it has a cadence sensor, so as soon as it feels you turn in the pedals, it just it starts goes. It does. And then if you want to go a little faster, you just, and then it's kind of like a cruise control. Yes. You set it up on like five, and then you're going to be going like 16 miles an hour, yeah. and four would be 14 miles an hour. It's pretty much like a cruise control. And you can always be on that if, if you uh, want to go, get, go a little bit faster, you yeah. give it a little throttle. To, give it a little. Yeah, to get around some traffic or whatever it might be. So let's talk about the tires a little bit. We've got their four inch fat tires. And to me, we both thought that that would help us to go up in the mountains and stuff, ride a mountain bike, but that's not what they're for. They're to cushion your ride a little bit. And then you've got this, uh, can you bounce it? You look down here and these shocks, that's 80 millimeters. Yeah, that's to give you a little bit more cushion, like a shock absorber. So those two combined really soften the uh, Right. The impact on the ride, yeah. yes. Except absolutely. for in the desert and all them rocks. Oh, <laughs> going sideways, not But that's not a good that's thing why for the big me. tires. The front tire is a 24 inch. The back tires are 20 inch. So they're pretty good sized tires. One thing they don't come with a slime. We'd recommend putting some slime in all three tires. Yes. Uh, you just don't want to get out in the middle of nowhere and, and have, have a flat, a flat tire, tire and have to mess with it. So right. we'd recommend that. We also would rec wish that they had a parking brake on here. Yes. That's the one thing I noticed on a lot of other e-tracks they had that we don't have on this one. Yes. In the seat, what do you think about the seat? I, I, it's comfortable. Yeah, and it has a little bit of adjustment. You adjusted it so you lean back so, a little bit more. You yes. started out kind of sliding off, but once we yes. leaned it back, it's it seemed little, like you got real comfortable. Yes. I so, felt when it was forward, I felt like I was going to slide off the seat. So when it's more straight or it's barely tilted camera. back, it feels good, comfortable. Okay. So we talked about the big battery, the big motor, the big tires. So you're going to get all that power going to be going all that distance your brakes we need to talk about those <laughs> and we got a, a brake they're manual brakes but we got one on all three wheels how did you think did they seem to work pretty good they work very well were they I'm easy to impressed. squeeze and stuff easy to squeeze so they're manual not hydraulic but i thought they worked awesome we've got a little video i'll stick it in right here and you can kind of see how quick they can stop it a full speed. It is surprising how fast that does stop. It's nice. It gives you a little bit more of a comfort level. Yeah, I was real surprised. As soon as I uh, squeeze the brakes, I'll start here at this cement thing right here. That's maybe 20 feet, something like that. And I talked about it in that video, but just to emphasize, when you're going down the road, if you're wanting to slow down, as soon as you apply either handbrake you're it kills the motor. Yes. Right now. You're slowing and down. And then it just stops. So I th the brakes are awesome. And then last but not least, at least for us, we've got to have some way to take this uh, e-track with us when we travel. So we bought this little uh, cargo carrier that's made for e-tracks. And uh, we can carry, mount it behind the RV or we can even mount it onto the back of the car. And that's probably what we'll do. We'll hook the car up to the RV and then a little e-trike up on the platform and a little foldable e-bike I've got, we'll stick it inside the car and it'll just make a nice little convoy. <laughs> so as you can tell, Pearl and I both, we really like this Grand Tan e-trike. It, uh, it's going to add a whole new dimension to our traveling and our camping, being able to do things together at the same pace and getting out and exploring a little bit more. It should be a whole lot of fun. If you think you might be interested in one of these e-trikes, I think Ad Motor has got the Grand Tan, I think it's listed for $3,899. And they've got an $800 discount, I guess, for the holiday season. So it takes it down to, on their website, you can get it for $3,099. But in addition, they gave us a $100 discount off for all of our subscribers and we'll have a discount code down in our description box below you can click on that link and if you follow that link to the uh, Grand Tam website you can get it under three thousand bucks two thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars that certainly is a good deal 
the Grand Tan seems to have the biggest and best e-trike out there. Definitely the most powerful with the longest range and it's built high quality. I would imagine better than anything you'll find. So it's a great deal. It's $2,999. But I don't know how long that's going to last. Check it out, you know, sooner the better so you don't miss out on those discounts. And that's about it. You know as much as we know about the uh, Ad Motors Grand Tan M340 e-trike. Mm -hmm.